Yes, primary care doctors badly needed everywhere right now, especially here in Arizona. The state has one of the fastest growing populations and doctors have been having trouble keeping up with demand. Team 12's Gabriela Becerra is joining us now in studio, studio with what the shortage means for all of us. Gabby? Well, Rachel Kribe, patients are already feeling the impact, including waiting longer to get an appointment and a lower quality of care as doctors are overworked. But over time, experts tell me the shortage will not only hurt your health, but also your wallet. For anyone that's tried to get in to see a primary care physician, you're well aware that uh, we really have a shortage. Dr. Dan Dirksen, the Associate Vice President of the University of Arizona, is tracking just how severe a shortage in primary care doctors across the state is. About 667 full-time equivalent primary care physicians short of where we should be. And that number will grow to 2,000 full-time equivalents uh, by the year 2030. Dirksen tells me the problem stems from a lack of graduate residency programs, not only in the state's metropolitan counties, but also the rural areas. We lose a lot of those folks because when they go out of state to obtain their residency training, their graduate medical education, they often don't return. His research shows Arizona needs to create at least 1,100 new residency slots to fix the problem. It's just about creating those opportunities where we need them the most. Local health care systems such as Valley Wise are working to recruit doctors before they start training elsewhere. A lot of, you know, more senior and experienced physicians, once they've developed that panel or group of patients that they take care of, it's very hard for people to leave that. But more doctors aren't the only solution to this health care crisis. Nurse practitioners will definitely be front and center in making that happen. Judy Karshmer, Dean of Edson College of Nursing and Innovation at Arizona State University, tells me the nurse practitioner workforce is expected to grow by 40 percent in the next five years. In Arizona, nurse practitioners have the ability to address primary care needs just as any doctor would. He or she would be able to diagnose, treat, order uh, whatever kind of uh, medications you need, what kind of services you need, make referrals as necessary. And the doctors I spoke with tell me having a primary care physician is critical for your health because letting diseases and chronic illnesses go untreated will eventually land you in the hospital where you'll end up paying a lot more money to fix something that could have been managed. Back to you guys. All right, Gabby, thank you.